Hey guys, Ryan here, Jigs RC <clears throat> or Full Send RC88. My new name. I don't know why I just felt like changing it, but whatever. Um, so my previous charger bit the dust. It was a great charger. I had the Hoda S6, which was 400 watts AC and 650 DC, which this is the same. Uh. Where does it say? It says somewhere. It's all Chinese. AC, DC. Yeah, 600 watts. 600 and 600? I don't know. Maybe it's 600 both. AC and DC. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is the ISDTK4. It's about a year old, I think. Probably one of the best chargers you can get. It's a lot bigger than my Hoda. S6, my Hoda S6 was like a cube, um, but yeah, it uh, it bit the dust. This can charge from 1 to 8S LiPo. I don't have a balance board, so I'm just going to be plugging it in. Um, but yeah, this also, also what you want to know about your, um, about your charger is your, um, uh, what is it called? Your balance current. So you want... The higher it is, so if you if your bat, let's say your battery takes like an hour and a half to charge, which it shouldn't, it might have like I don't know five hundred milliamps or whatever of um of balance current. You want like one point five. You'll look for that right there. I don't know if it's zoomed in or not, or if you can see, but yeah, it says balance current 1.5 amp per cell max so that's good so i think i've seen a charger that goes to two amps which is pretty crazy but that's really good it'll balance faster um so yeah let's uh let's get into it i, I already unboxed it you guys don't need to see the unboxing it's whatever it comes with a cord and in there and a user manual and what's cool about this the my favorite feature is it has a um here it is plugged in. Let me just type in my password. Or I'm hiding it. No one's gonna. You can hit plus here. So here, let's just go through the charger here. So you got your screens. There's your volts and your temperatures and all that. It's a dual charger, of course, with the XT60, and then I use DC5. So, um, yeah. So there's screen one or two or A or B. There's both of them, so you want to hold both of these down to get into your settings. Then you just go system settings, lowest input, input voltage 22 volts, max 420 watts, backlight, I like it high so I can see volume. It's actually not that noisy, so I'm just going to keep it high. Um, USB charge, that's awesome too. So. If I want to, uh, there's a little USB port right here. If I want to charge my my phone or my GoPro or whatever while you're charging your batteries, you can do that. That's super cool. And then, um, yeah, language, theme, dark or bright. I kind of like the dark. It just looks cooler. Uh, trickle charge, self-test, calibration, 1, 2, channel 1, 2, system info, back. Um, I don't know where the timer is right now. I'll have to look into the advanced settings in this, but uh, it's no big deal. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm never away from my charger anyway, so I'm always standing by and right when it beeps, I unplug it, so I don't even need a safety. But, but yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, like for instance, like here's my hand. It's, it's a pretty big charger. It's significantly bigger, but hopefully this is a bit better quality than, than my s6 even though that's supposed to be one of the best ones mine mine bit the dust but that's okay so we're in the you just scan these little codes here and then you can check your um while you're you know it, i don't know why but if you want to check on your phone you can check all your parameters and um all your and set your tasks through the app so you can actually change all your stuff through the app. So I, I plugged it in, downloaded the app, you hit plus, it's searching, it's plugged in, there it is, the K4, hit plus, 
please get close successfully to 8s and there it is so i have a lipo here somewhere um let me just grab it these are my favorite lipos they're the huvu 8200 milliamp 120 c hard cases they're the same size as my 5500 milliamp hard case my z's so i love these things um i'm going to buy a balance a balance board because I'm just plugging mine straight into here um, so it plugs in upside down for people that don't know it's usually it goes the other way like this is faced around so it plugs in upside down struggling here hold on sorry guys jam it in there come on there we go now let me just set this down and plug this in right here quickly. I think this is, yeah, this is battery's already fully charged, but let's see what happens on the phone. So we're going to just hit this. So task. Oh, we're in channel one here. Channel one, channel two. It ha Oh, it comes with a screen protector too, which is super cool. So it came with this screen protector and it already comes with one on it. So I'm just gonna leave this one on it and put this one on at a later date. Um, so that's cool that it came that came in the box. So yeah, um, task, chemistry, lipo, cells. The current 8.2. Some people say charge it at half to be safe. I only heard a couple people say that in my life. Like if you have an 8. 8200 milliamps which you'd charge at 8.2 I heard you'd charge it at 4.1 but I, and it would take twice as long but I don't know I've only heard that once and it m makes your battery last twice as long but I don't know I just charge them I'll buy a new one if I need to so yeah start so yeah it's at 99% let's go back into my phone here stand by oh this is really cool oh there it is Wow. Oh, it has a firmware upgrade. So let's upgrade the firmware. But yeah, you can see the percentage of your battery. Oh, I don't know if I should be charging my... Or I guess I had to be charging to get this going. But yeah, it's updating. You can see all your parameters, your cells. You see 4.2, 4.2, 4.19. So that's it balancing. It shows all of them. And yeah, this is probably my favorite charger by far. Even though it's a bit bigger. This is the ISD TK4 and it's my new favorite charger. I would choose this over the Hoda S6. I'm going to use, the, my DC still works for the Hoda S6, so I'm going to use that on a, I got a big battery for the trailer for camping. I'm just going to, I made a little couple wires and put some um, little round connectors on so you can screw them on. So I'm just going to use that for DC power. But yeah, if you guys want a really good charger, I think this is going for 250 bucks. It's pretty expensive, but top of the line charger it's uh like i said 400 watt ac like usually chargers are 60 to 80 watts like if you're lucky you know like you know you get 100 or something but that's just insane for 400 watts ac big dual fans on the back and you can slide this port right down to go to dc mode and uh yeah that, that's your dc in there so yeah guys there's there's the charger new baby so yeah guys if you want to see more videos like this i usually just do rc bashing videos but if you guys want to see more of electronic stuff i'm interested in learning if you have any comments on um what you want to know about it or also what you want to inform me about because i'd like to learn as well i'd appreciate that got the scissor up on the nightstand that doesn't look good <laughs> just kidding it's just uh it's just some day quill um yeah, guys, I'd appreciate that. So like and subscribe, drop a comment. And if you want to see more videos of this um, or some more overviews of my RCs in detail of what I've done to them, I'm trying to change up my content a bit. Maybe I'm just going to do bashing, but I'm trying to play around a bit. So I appreciate it, guys. Anyways, peace.